Hello, hello, hello. Kenny Evans here, another car video. And the topic of this video is, does the patriarchy or the matriarchy control dating? So before I get into that topic, I wanna let you guys know, as I do every week here, this channel is not just for me, it is for you guys. And I wanna make both men and women or help both men and women become the best versions of themselves in all aspects of their lives. I know I talk about a lot of dating relationships here, but it's not just dating relationships. It's also mindset, wealth, and health. You know what I mean? So, um, of course, I want you guys' help. Let me know what you guys want me to talk about. Um, but yeah, this channel is for y'all. I want to help y'all be the best you can be in all aspects of your life. And I know I have some new people here. I have some people who've been here for a while. You know, but you guys have one thing in common. You haven't subscribed. So if that is you, um, hit that subscription button and also hit that notification button so you'll be notified for whenever I um, upload some new videos. And if you like my videos or you just want to support me, hit the like button, the thumbs up. I appreciate it. So now let's get back into this topic. So does the patriarchy or the matriarchy control dating it is a very very interesting question because a lot of guys feel like it's all the matriarchy and the patriarchy has been pushed aside and they don't got anything any advantages or any ways of really taking the lead back and they feel like uh the women have all the power and it's really up to the women to lead dating but you know, as we know, um, there's always two sides to every story. The matriarchy has its point, and the patriarchy has its point. So that is what I'm here to uh, talk about. And I'm only going to list a few. There's, I could be here forever, you know what I mean? So I'm only going to list a few, but important topics, important points that I believe will help you understand which side really is in control of dating. So first... The matriarchy has feminism. As we know, fe feminism has been around for over 100 years now. And it's all about women really becoming more liberated and really living lives on their lives on their own terms. You know what I mean? Instead of being stuck in the house, they go to school, they can have sex if they want with as many men as they want. You know, they can work. You know, all these different things. You know what I mean? So... That is something that is really uh, taken off for women, you know. But at the same time, for the patriarchy, they have women hitting the wall. So with that, you know, you have, uh, you just got to hold out, you know. Wait out for all these uh, these older women. They're going to get theirs. They get you know, like the cock carousel, you know, when they're in their early 20s, late teens. As they get older, they're going to suffer. They're going to have to be dying to get one of us uh, eligible bachelors who are in our 30s. But we're going to be going for the younger women. And uh, so it's kind of a thing of revenge. You know what I mean? But at the same time, a lot of men look forward to that as uh, something that they can feel proud of. I've done a video about that in the past. Uh, talking about that. Um, so you definitely check that out. But then the matriarchy, they have the Me Too movement where you have toxic masculinity and hitting on women. If they feel uncomfortable, they could say you 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 harass them or something. All that stuff, false rape charges, all that stuff that, you know, the Me Too movement has uh, talked about and brought to our attention nowadays. But then you have the patriarchy. And then they have looks, money, status. They feel like if they maximize their looks, money, status, they'd be able to get all the women they want. You know what I mean? Men will just be slaying out here. It doesn't matter. Anything else, just get, maximize the looks, money, status. And the world of women is their oyster. You know, it's a very powerful mindset. Um, and men really engage in that, you know, because it makes them feel good. 
And they feel like if they just get to this level, they'll be all right and they'll be set with women. You know, but then we have the matriarch again, a very important point. They believe that men and women are equal. They believe anything a man could do, a woman could do. And this is very different from feminism because feminism was more for the liberation of women from the household. They didn't believe, if you look at the modern, the, the um, old time feminists, they didn't believe men and women were equal completely. They really didn't. They just wanted to be able to live life more freely, you know, with the voting, work, go to school, you know, have sex without being shamed. You know, obviously that hasn't uh, <laughs> worked out uh, to the to this point. But when it comes to the men and women, matriarchy believe in men and women are equal. Again, they want equal pay. They want equal work hours. They want to be able to <laughs> play in equal sports. You know what I mean? So this is a whole nother level. You know what I mean? That the traditional feminists did not necessarily believe. So, um, yeah, men and women are equal. You know what I mean? And they get, and even the mindset when it comes to having sex. You know, it's like, oh, well, now we can have sex and we shouldn't be shamed about it. And we can just be able to have as much sex as we want. And even, I'll take it to another point, men and women can become the opposite sex, you know, so that's a whole nother level. But yeah, men and women believe they can switch genders and they think they will general, they they think they will become that gender that they truly switch to. Bio, you know, maybe not obviously not biologically, but they believe they can switch genders and that will be who they truly are you know what i mean because of what they say in their head you know so but the patriarchy has the last but not least slut shaming women with high body counts and again that's another another uh, technique that they have that if they see a woman who is too liberated out here sleeping around so, oh man, she's a slut, you know, and generally women or the matriarchy will pull back or at least they will do it in a way that's much more secretive or they won't be honest about uh, their their sexual um, uh, pleasure or their sexual experiences because they don't want to be called a slut. They don't want to be shamed by by men, the, ma the patriarchy, who who use that as a way to feel better about themselves because, again... They are not getting as many women. And I did another video about that here. You know, men feeling jealous and insecure about not being able to sleep without, with as many women as women are able to sleep with not only women, but also men. You know what I mean? So it is very important that we understand that slut shaming is a tactic to feel better. Men in the patriarchy, generally speaking, to feel better about themselves and their lack of sexual experience. So, the question I know you guys have all been waiting for, who wins between the matriarchy and the patriarchy? And, drum roll, it is the patriarchy. There shouldn't have even been a doubt, but the patriarchy wins because men allow the matriarchy or women to do all this stuff because they want to have sex with the women in the matriarchy. Easier. Easier. But the kicker is, if the men or the patriarchy did not allow the stuff that they allow the matriarchy and women to do, the matriarchy and women would change. Because regardless of what anybody says, men and women are attracted to each other. And we are here to procreate. So we both want to do what we have to do to procreate the easiest and with the highest quality mates. So if men or the patriarchy 
really just cut off all the stuff that the matriarchy and women are doing, the women in the matriarchy would change and they would be higher quality women, you know, but because most of the patriarchy is not very strong and men are not very strong, they put up with a lot of the stuff that the matriarchy women do. And I mean, obviously it, 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 it's harder. And then obviously you have society and all that stuff. That has something to do with it as well. But, you know, ultimately, the patriarchy is in control. Men in the patriarchy are in control. And don't you forget it. At least the strong men are. You know? So, that is all I got for y'all today. Of course, I, like I said, there's so many things I could have talked about. I could have been here forever. But I believe these were the highlighted uh, viewpoints for both the matriarchy and the patriarchy. You know, so... Uh, if you thought, you thought I, I forgot some, let me know what I forgot. If you agree, disagree with my list, let me know what you agree, disagree with. You know, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification button. And if you dislike, let me know in the comments what you dislike so I can improve uh, my videos and my content for you guys here in the future. Because again, this channel is not for me. I created the channel. But this channel is for you guys. I want to help you guys be the best men and women you can be in all aspects of your life. Not just dating relationships, but also, like I said, health, wealth, and mindset. You know what I mean? Because the best you are, the best you'll be able to get, and the better your life will be. You know, and the stronger you will be as a man and a woman. You know, so. <clears throat> Again, uh, if you uh, find value in this video... I uh, appreciate donations. Any little bit counts. Of course, only if you find value in the video. Um, yeah, I guess that's really it. Until next week, y'all stay safe. And always remember, the strongest man is the happiest man. Peace.